Okay, so let's start creating a guide skeleton. This is just going to be the base that we're going to start off with. Things that we know that we're going to need, but then we'll add more onto it later. So let's start off with an add point. Oops, let's try that again. Add. Yay, I'm going to add one point. And this is going to be our root. So let's add a name. And this is going to be our, we need to get the character's name, which we have in our controller here. Copy parameter. Paste relative reference. And then it's going to be underscore root. All right, actually C first, underscore C, underscore root, underscore, actually no underscore. We're gonna just call it that because we're not. It is going to be a joint, let's call it joint. Okay, and then now let's do an object merge and let's get the pelvis. It's going to be out underscore. I should have done them with C's. I can change that later. But I just need the pelvis. There we go. So I have the pelvis joint here. And we're going to take a name here. And we're essentially going to rename it right now. The name of that point is control C pelvis and let's actually we already have it here let's copy this and then in the name we're going to rename it instead of root it's going to be cog so it's our center of gravity and we have that and it's going to be based off of a point same thing with this one if not it's not going to give us the name there we go so we have the root joint and then we have the cog joint. And then let's get some pull vectors. It's going to be the knees. So we're going to need basically the setup here again. And then we're going to choose the left knee. There we go. Up, oh, I misnamed that it's PNT on the knee. So let's fix that since I know that I have that issue. We have the knee right here on the name. Right here. JNT. Uh, all of these are PNT where they should be JNT. Oh, I see. Because they're the points. Ha <laughs> I had it right. PNT. I was just confused. PNT. Okay. So over here we have the point. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're going to rename this. It's going to be L knee pole vector. Okay. And then I'm going to copy this one over. And then these should just transfer over. We're going to take the R. And here we are going to make this an R. OK, let's look at our scene view. And let's merge them. So we're going to do a merge here. And let's merge this with this and then we are going to do another merge. We're going to need a few merges because I want to do the line for each one of these separately so that way I can parent them together and that they move together with the root. When I move the root they all move together. So and then all of these I need a merge. And I'll start off with this one. 
Nope, not that one. This one. Then this one. Then this one. And if we see, we should have the cog and then the two knees. On the knees themselves, what I want to do is have a transform. And can they be moved out together? No. So let's do a transform here. And I'm going to push it forward in the Z. 1.3. 2, something like that. And then later on, I'll build a control to offset the knees so that way I can match them up on both of them. But they're going to basically be slightly in front of where the knees are so that way we can set up the pull vectors to be guided by those. And then let's do an add here. And this is going to set up a polygon by group and we're going from the root to the cog and this one's actually going to have the arms too and then we'll have this here that is to one of the legs that is to another one of the legs and then let's do this over here. I'm going to copy that and then this time instead of the knee we want the elbow. There you go. And then we're going to move it negative 0.2 and then on the name here we are going to change that to be elbow and it's going to be the left side. Okay. And let's do uh, merge. And this time we are going to merge here. Actually, we can go straight into this chain up here. So let's move this over here. Can we? Not quite. We're going to need a, another separate merge. So instead of this line going there, we're going to go there. Then we're going to have an add. <laughs> but this isn't from the root. I want it from here. Actually, I know what we'll do. We will parent this afterwards. We'll set up all the parenting afterwards, so that way we don't have to build all these lines. We'll do a rig doctor and then parent them separately. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Do all that. Okay. This is the elbow. So let's copy this over so we have the elbow also. And then on this, we're just going to switch it over to R. And switch the name to be R. Okay, now we can take all of these nodes down here. And then drag them down and do a merge. Okay, so we have all of the points there. Let's do a rig doctor. And then let's do a joint parent or parent joints. There we go. And then we'll go to the rig tree. And then the elbows are both going to go into the cog. Let's try that again. There we go. And then the cog is going to go into the root. And then the knees are going to go into the root. Okay, so this is going to be our base guide skeleton. We will kind of be updating this. But we have this as a network here. Let's make it purple. Oops, we got all those nodes purple. We just want the box purple. And then let's create a null node and this is going to be out underscore guide underscore skeleton cool okay that way we don't have any convoluted like connections there we just do it all in the parent setup here 
and this works pretty well. Okay, so we have a guide skeleton to go along with our main skeleton that we have here. And this is going to be for the center gravity, the root, and then the pole vectors for the knees and the arms. Okay, let's save this, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.